Hey boys and girls, you're in for a real treat today because we're going to explore one of the most famous alien abduction cases in the world. Welcome to Absurd Reality Case File 004, The Abduction of Betty and Barney Hill. FYI, this story is said to be the first well-documented and feasibly legitimate UFO abduction case in American history. So crack open a cold one, spark that J, and buckle up because we're heading straight into light speed. What? Fuck Disney! Punch it, Chewie! On September 19th of 1961, Betty and Barney Hill were driving on an empty road in New Hampshire's White Mountains when they witnessed a strange light in the night sky. After a few miles, Betty and Barney became anxious as they realized that this strange light was now following them. Panic began to set in and Barney put the pedal to the metal and drove as fast as he could back to their home. Once home, they realized that their drive, which they have taken many times before, took way longer than expected. About two hours longer, actually. Moreover, there's portions of the drive that neither of them remembered. Now this is where shit starts to get crazy. Both Betty and Bonnie knew something was incredibly off when they got home. In addition to those missing hours, they felt dirty. Their watches stopped working, Bonnie's shoes were all scuffed up, his binocular strap was ripped in half, and Betty's dress was torn in multiple places. And there was no recollection of how any of that happened. As time went on, both Betty and Bonnie began to have crazy vivid nightmares. They started to experience severe panic attacks and Bonnie developed PTSD. Overwhelmed with emotions that something just wasn't right and the urge to find out what was happening, Betty and Barney began to tell friends and family members what was going on. It was suggested that Betty and Barney reached out to Dr. Benjamin Simon, a Boston psychiatrist and neurologist who was known to specialize in hypnotic regression. After several hypnosis sessions with Dr. Simon, a whole new story began to unfold and a frightening tale emerged. What they thought was just the UFO sighting was much worse. The nightmares and memory flashes suggested that they were both abducted and taken aboard the ship. Betty and Barney were separated and experimented on. Skin and hair samples were taken from both of them and an abnormal pregnancy test was performed on Betty. Take a listen to some of the audio from Betty's hypnosis session with Dr. Simon. They're like needles. There's a whole cluster of needles. And each needle has a wire running from it. So then they roll me over on my back. And the examiner has a long needle in his hand. And I see the needle. And it, it's, it's bigger than any needle I've ever seen. And I asked him what he's going to do with it. And he said, just a simple death to hold your face. And I asked him what. And he said, he just wants to put it in my navel. And it's just a simple test. And I don't know it will hurt. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he said, no, it won't hurt. And he sticks a navel into my navel. <laughs> and I'm crying and I tell her it's hurting, it's hurting, it's hurting, hurting, it out. <laughs> What's really crazy about all this is that during her time on the ship, Betty said that the aliens that abducted her showed her a star map of where they were from. The star map was of a binary star system which Betty was able to recreate and draw under hypnosis. At that time, they couldn't match that star system to anything astronomers had on file. That was until 1976, when someone came forward with a match. The star map that Betty drew matches perfectly to the Zeta Reticuli star system. It's believed that Zeta 1 and Zeta 2 are nearly 2 billion years older than Earth. So if life developed there, it's very possible that they are way more advanced than us. It's also worth mentioning that Bob Lazar, the scientist who became famous for exposing Area 51 and S7, and who stated that he worked on reverse engineering alien propulsion systems, said that in the briefings that were provided to him at S7, that some of those crafts that we had in our possession were from the Zeta Reticuli system. What's wild about this is that there are multiple reports regarding this incident. There's an official Air Force report 
a Blue Book report, and an article from the Boston Traveler in 1965, all of which seem to take this encounter very seriously and do not, in any way, shape, or form, allude to Betty and Bonnie lying or being full of shit. Lastly, there's a road sign that recognizes this as a legitimate event by the state of New Hampshire. Now, I'm not saying this is all real and that this story should be believed without any further research, but what we have to remember is that everything of this nature should be studied, researched, and debunked if possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this case file. Do me a favor and smash that like button and subscribe to this channel for everything absurd reality. That's it for this case file. We are out.